Hey guys, this is Isaiah from Your Head Software. Today we're talking about Stacks 4 and the five new features we put into it. So before I jump into the features, um, I just want to say I'm going to break these videos up into five little videos. Um, that way you can watch them one at a time or even pick and choose just the features you're interested in. If you do pick and choose, make sure and watch feature number five. That's all about externals and that's the big new feature of Stacks 4. All right, without further ado, this is feature number one, and it's all about multiple selection. So let's check that out. So I have a document here with, yeah, a few stacks in it. Now, in previous versions of stacks, we could select something and then maybe move it around, uh, change its properties, whatever we needed to do. In Stacks 4, if we hold down the Command key or the Shift key, we can keep selecting multiple stacks. Once we have multiple stacks selected, we can do whatever we need to do with those stacks. So I'll just drag these down to the bottom here. And you can see all three stacks come along for the ride. It works the same with duplication. I'll hold down the Option key, and I'll duplicate these stacks up into this column. Let's move these three into the middle column. And I'll make one more duplicate here to the third column. So it's really easy to move things around, copy things, paste things, uh, delete things. All of those things that you do with stacks work pretty well with multiple selection. But it gets a little bit better than that. Let me select all nine of these, and I'll show you how that works. Not only can you move things around in the layout, but you can make changes to their properties. So I'll open up the border here, and we'll give these guys a border. We'll round the corners, and I'll make the borders blue. Right? So we made changes to nine stacks all at once. Even though the stacks are of different type, um, in different places, they're in three different columns. It doesn't matter hierarchy or uh, which stack you're selecting. I don't know how long that would have taken in stacks three, but I bet it would have been longer than that. So there are some limitations to this though. And let's talk about that. So I'm going to drag in a two column stack here and I'll make a copy of it. I'll populate it with some of these text stacks just by option dragging. Now of course all stacks have the built-in properties like border, these responsive buttons, but some stacks have some extra properties. These two column stacks have these extra properties called split that lets us adjust the split of the columns and the gutter width that lets us choose how much space there is between them. Now, as long as I have only two columns select, only two column stacks selected, I can make changes to these custom properties. But if I select, say, a two column stack and a text stack, then a text stack doesn't have those custom properties. So they don't show up. In fact, no custom properties will show up if you have two different types of stacks selected. Even if they share some custom properties that might have the same name, there's a good chance that those, those properties underneath the hood of that stack work a lot differently. So for safety, custom properties are only editable when you have multiple of the same exact stack selected. So if I select all of these markdown stacks, those have the custom property to render the markdown or not. 
and we can make that change so long as all we have selected is markdown stacks. So that's a quick look at some of the powers that are there with multiple selection in Stacks 4. It gives us a huge amount of power to not only move things around in our layout, copying and pasting and duplicating, but also to make changes to the properties of those stacks. So definitely give that a try. It's, uh, yeah, it, it makes stacks uh, feel much more powerful than ever before. Right, that's a quick look at multiple selection. That was feature number one. Stay tuned for feature number two. That's going to be library group customization. We've added some features to help you customize your libraries. So go check that out in the next video and make sure and check out feature number five. That is uh, externals and that's the big new one. Thanks for watching.